all right boys welcome to the final episode of the pokemon platinum hardcore nuzlocke now with that out of the way let's go straight freaking in now this whole fight is going to be the easiest thing ever i have a completely perfect strategy to basically beat hurl team and i gotta get rid of like the three main big obstacles which is the spiritual the lucario and the garchomp first we start with the spiritual i go for foresight foresight basically is a move that remove that makes ghost types just removes the ghost typing effect of fight the moves missing it just just removes ghost type move, ghost typing and make spirit tomb just a pure dark type since he since he's ghost uh dark with no weaknesses but with foresight i remove the ghost typing and he becomes just pure dark then i just go for close combat and one shotting it ran that in there but just one shot it it's not gonna tank this hit i've calc this definitely dead easy now in this situation the smartest thing for for the ai to do here is actually bring garchomp but i have high high doubts it's gonna be locario but that's kind of dumb since i'm two higher two levels higher and i want short close combat because the card's not gonna tank that one the, the this close combat it's gonna be dead i'm gonna be minus four Then, gonna go for the guard shot here. He's immediately gonna go for Earthquake. So I switch out, bring in Toga. Yep, there's the Earthquake. Go for Yawn. The Dragon Rush, I'll be fine. Toga's pretty thick. I just have to set up that one move. Perfect. And now, he's completely stuck next i switch in the multi since he's stuck in dragon rush since dragon rush is basically imagine thrash which is a move that just keeps hitting on up to three or five turns hits pretty hard since it's like 100 base power i throw multi because multi is surprisingly bulky now i got a friction for instead of multi got a friction for Stampy here Guard's gonna be asleep. And Ice Punch GG since Weavile is way faster than Guard Chomp. I checked its stats. It's way, way faster than Guard Chomp. And it one shot since it's Stab Ice with an Icicle Plate. And also um, Guard Chomp was Ground Dragon, which is four, time weak, four times weak against freaking Ice. Now the Guard Chomp is dead. The only two mods that can actually threaten me now is the Togekiss with Aura Spear. Wish I saw coming. So I'll throw multi because it's a hundred percent sure gonna go for Aura Sphere because it just can't do anything else. I'm gonna go for Aura Sphere, but since I'm ghost, it's not gonna happen. Then I hit him with Thunderbolt. Go for the water pulse. That's okay. It's not gonna be nuts. I'll be fine. Since uh Bruno has thick defenses. Hit him with a thunderbolt and it's pretty much GG's. I think. Ooh, I do know you're gonna go for the potion, though. That's a good thing. Now nah, I gotta just hit it again with a thunderbolt. Then it's gonna go for water pulse again. I'll switch out. I can't go for air slash or thunder wave or sphere because first I'm ghost. I'm immune to aura sphere, and second um, I'm electric, so electric moves are very effective. But I'm electric again. Since flying time moves aren't very effective, and thanks to my left striping, it's basically useless. The only move here is water pulse. So, it gives me a free switch into Weasel. Multi, take a good rest, my friend. Multi, relax now. Throw Weasel, it's gonna go for water pulse. It'll be fine, do the water typing. It's not gonna be very effective. Then I just go for a quick Aqua Jet. GG. Now, in this scenario, they're gonna throw the Rose right here. Which is the smartest thing to do since everything. Since uh, Rose is grass, it's gonna go for immediately for the Giga Drain, which I saw coming like a, a million miles away. So, I'll throw Rio since 
It has Toxic, Psychic, and Giga Dream, and Grass that moves, which I resist all of them. There's some Steel Typing too, which is perfect. So, take that hit, it's not going to be very effective. Stitches 3 pops out since I knew it was going to be pretty low. Give me back exactly where I wanted to be. Then two E speeds and it's dead. Or if I get a critical hit, I just one shot the Rose Raid. And this episode is going to be really short. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a really short episode. This is a really one sided battle here. Like it's super one sided. Since like I did so, I just checked. I just tried to make the best team for Cynthia. Ooh, that was a good crit there. Nice, but you're dead though. And the freaking Rosary is dead. GG's Rosary, look at the rest. Rosary is dead. This last Pokemon is the Milotic. Who's immediately gonna go for anything? I suspect Surf or Ice Beam. So, Weasel is the perfect choice since if he goes for Surf or Ice Beam, I'm fine. Since I'm water typing and water and yep one for the surf kind of started coming jesus christ that wasn't even like normal damage but i'm gonna sack weasel here so i could just give some small chip damage here oh nice defense drop all right weasel take a good rest my friend you deserve it It goes down. Let's see if Multi is faster. That's a question I have actually. Nope, okay, it is faster than Multi, so Multi goes down. That's okay. Ooh, no, nah. okay, nah. nice. Multi survived and it's dead. And that's the same thing I fight for you guys. I wasn't even worried. I was just so prepared. I, was, I just had so many things to counter her whole team that I really wasn't worried at all. That was it. Easy peasy lemon freaking squeezy boys. And that's how you beat Cynthia. She's all the, the, the thing is right going through this whole nozzle just taught me that like these guys are strong when you just don't know what you're doing. Like if you just play if you just go in without do, literally knowing nothing, you're screwed. I said the first time she's a freaking nightmare because you don't know a thing. But now, I, I literally just clapped her freaking fast. Like, it, it was barely a, a long fight. Like, super easy. Like, literally, dude, I was so scared. And I, then I just, like, sit and thought of, like, okay, what's the best, like, strategy to beat her? Like, what do I need? I gotta remove the spiritual first. The spiritual Lucario and the Garchomp. Those are the main three obstacles. Then, even if they, they stay with my Lodic, or the Togekiss, I'm completely fine. And the best scenario would be if they just, they're, they're her last Pokemon would be Rosary because then it can't do anything. Because they have three mods that can literally slap it in the face. And three mods are resistant to pretty much everything it has except for like, I say poison. That was it. Lost a uh, freaking, uh, float soul, but yeah, that was okay. Ozzy Float Soul was completely fine, you know, I was just like, I had no problem killing somebody so I can get somebody, because at the end of the day, since I'm already at the final battle, I can fight more, more recklessly in a sense, since I can start thinking of sacking Mons, because I'm already at the final battle, you know, and it's basically, it's basically okay here for me to think about it. I feel like I could have probably made a better team to help me win. But I feel like this team is like really, really good for the whole freaking um, for the whole battle. I think this team was really, really good for this battle. It was, it was just perfect. But yeah, man, this was really fun. I, I enjoyed myself. It was enjoyable, you know. Things went pretty well. After losing the first time, I already I was just like, nah, I don't want to reset this. I'm gonna just like actually use my head and go through this whole game. You know, uh, strategically in a sense, you know, and actually use my head a little bit. I did lose Crobat at the end like an idiot, but it's okay though. Things went perfectly well, you know, things were good. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. 
uh see you guys later uh, stay tuned for i have a video coming out probably i don't know three weeks after this one is out yeah, yeah probably like three weeks i'll be taking a week off since i got work and stuff uh, since I, I got a job and i've been working already for a month so basically yeah i'm still gonna keep doing videos stuff like that and other things too that are gonna come up in the future i can't wait to show you guys that but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed see you guys later don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day